Hello, my commentary on um, Max Bauer's video on Gene Kim, and Gene Kim needs to, 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 to get saved. Romans 10 doesn't save you, you Gene Kim, get saved. Okay, my co commentary. So it's Max and we're back. We're doing a thing here. It's good old Genie Kim. Why do I call him that? Because he's came out with a video July 4th casting a spell. Casting a spell on the people who listen to him. And a spell for all of his little mysticism that Genie's never wrong. Old Genie's never wrong about anything. And he does his little spell to make the people watching him believe that he's never wrong about anything. And rebels in the idea that his enemies, oh, they're going through trials and tribulations and they got kicked off YouTube. And that means I'm much more righteous. Or so he says. Or so he says. This Only Jesus is righteous, Gene Kim. Get saved, Gene Kim. This apparently is related back to uh, the old dispensational uh, salvation idea that effectively destroys Christianity. Okay. Um, I thought about this a couple of days, actually prior to this video even realizing this was even out there because I don't watch Gene Kim. I know I know you watch me, Gene. I know you watch me. I'm just a little guy. But you know I'm right. And that scares you. Poking at your pride a little bit. Poking at it. How can this little guy out there have a point and all these people follow him? I am the great Gene Kim. I, I got two doctorates. Taught by the great Ruckman himself. You guys are cult, man. You guys are all cult people. Okay? All of you. Anybody who believes in works for salvation at any point is not a Christian. That's right. Sorry. That's right, Michael Cleary. You're asking. Giving your life to Christ doesn't save you, Michael Cleary. You are lost. Your cult people. This is aggravating to me, okay? The only major difference between all your religions, your cults, whatever you got, is Christianity is faith-based for salvation. But you guys want to say that the overarching truth of the Bible, that everybody's a sinner... Salvation's through God, His grace, through no work of your own, because there's nothing you can do. Exactly, Max. You throw that out for the Jews. Max is right. Really? How, how are people supposed to know that when Jesus died? Oh, we don't have to work anymore. We don't have to work anymore. Sorry about my burp. Do you realize how much nonsense that is, Genie? Genie, do you realize how, how, how stupid that sounds? That people had to work for their salvation in the Old Testament. And then all of a sudden Jesus dies and everybody is supposed to know that, oh, now we don't have to work. You're Hebrew rooters. You want to bring works back into the Bible. You want to put them in there. So then you give these guys who want to bring works into the New Testament, why not? What's the point? Why not? Obviously, God changes, or if God stays the same, then works is how you do it. Yep. And you want it to be works, don't you? Because you really like the fact that your old teacher there, he's got 30 books, and he's out doing this, and he's got a school, and he's out doing this. He's got his works, doesn't he? Therefore, he is a better man, a better teacher, a better person than anybody else about the Bible. He must know what he's talking about. He must, because all look at all them works. Now, works is nothing. How does a poor man like me, oh, this this guy out there, oh, and he attacked me, and, and then he, he took a break from YouTube, or I don't know what happened. You're just like this. Oh. 
these people that attacked me, they, they disappeared. <laughs> what was the point of your video a year later after we were talking about dispensational salvation to come out now and go, <laughs> God showed them. Is that really what happened? Or is that your justification in your own mind about what happened? To tell your students and the people who watch you, you better not mess with me. I am a great man of God. You know, it seems I've heard that before from a Mr. Denlinger. Heard that before from Ruckman. Heard that from before from some other people. And you know what you all have in common? Genie. Is that you all cast your spells. And I'm going to demonstrate it with your video. View casting a spell and being a liar. Tired of it. Here we go, Jeannie Kim. I got to bring up a different um, video. I have to play it on a different player because it's pretty quiet on uh, YouTube. See that here? Because God is 100% love, but also right here. Now, in my life, it's just so amazing how God is so merciful to me, a wretched sinner, actually. And through We're this power of prayer, it is amazing how I've seen the Lord mightily work. And one of them has to do, in this prayer, we're going to talk about the adversaries that attack you, the enemies. Enemies? So then, in your life, you're going to have personal enemies, and Satan's going to raise them up. And they can include saved believers. Let me repeat that again. These can include They're saved enemies. believers, actually. Enemies are, are saved believers. Now, Jeannie, I never considered you my enemy as a matter of fact i mirror your some of your good content is mirrored on my channel i haven't done that obviously in a long time given your um heretical cult beliefs but you know i would bet 90 percent of the stuff you teach is good and i have no problem with it but you won't refuse you refuse to admit when you're wrong okay this is what the spell is for everybody else who's watching out there this is the spell he is going to cast that he's drawing on the board Okay, this is all spell crap. See, Jane Kim, Romans 10 doesn't save you. Jesus saved you. It's all about trusting that gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 to 4, Gene Kim. It's, it's you trusting that Jesus died on the cross for your personal sins, was buried and rose again on the third day, and, and, and the blood of Tamek, in, in Romans 3.25 is part of the gospel gene Kim that saves. Robert Breaker is right on, on salvation for t today only. So get saved, Gene Kim. Witchery that he's doing. They also call it public speaking, if you want to know. But it's it's a spell. To where by the end of it you're like, oh, how did I not see it before? Oh, Gene, you wise master. So, so then Satan, what he's going to do is that he's going to influence some people who you would think are saved believers in Christ, mm -hmm. and they will turn against you. So remember, enemies are not just what we're thinking, the liberal world system, the elites, and all that. No. It okay, notice he doesn't bring up the fact that these saved people, because they disagree with you, might be sent by God to correct you. No, 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 no. We're setting up the narrative that the people that come against you are only sent by Satan, even if you know they are saved Christians. It's a spell, people. It can, you'd be surprised that more of the enemies is within. So this pastor has been attacked by enemies online. And these people uh, profess themselves to be saved believers, and I'll take it for granted. But these people, they have attacked our channel. They hate, uh, some of them hate dispensational truth. Others hate our church of people gathering so that we can encourage each other and serve the Lord. And the Lord has severely judged these people. And some of these people, they attack dispensational salvation. And what is strange, and only a few people know this, be, uh, that, that, I know, uh, that are in my church, that are close with me. But you've seen throughout the past four years how the Lord crazy answered prayers when the enemies attacked us. And this is 
what I do when I pray concerning my enemies. These people... This is the don't disagree with me or I'll send God after you spell. ...get very fleshly and they want God to attack the enemies. But this is what you need to do with these steps. If you don't do this, then the Lord's going to put the attack on you. One example is there's this... If you don't do this, then the Lord is going to put the attack on you. And now he is going to put a bunch of gibberish on the on the whiteboard but because he's drawing it out he must know what he's talking about but nobody knows what he's talking about they're just listening to his words and the way that he says his words we're going to continue on this is where he starts the spell that he is never wrong guy who uh attacked the name of our youtube channel real bible believers real and then bible this deceivers. guy when he did that Real Bible Deceivers? That's going to be the name of this video. Thanks, Gene. Love it. I love it. Real Bible Deceivers. You see, here's the thing. When you and all your doctorates and all your stuff and you're picking apart James and, and inserting things and putting moving uh, Scripture all the way back and forth from Old Testament, New Testament to try and fit your works system into the Bible, you undermine the fundamental truth of the Bible is that no one can save themselves. It's a fundamental truth. You don't even need to read the Bible. Non-Christians know this. Non-Christians know that you can't save themselves. No one it's can only save the cults himself. out there that say, hey, yeah. That's why this guy who's trusting in Romans 10 is asking is a lost man. Gene Kim, get saved, mate. If you do the good works, you'll get, you'll get all these blessings and, uh, you know, you won't have to sit in purgatory as long. Salvation is by faith alone. Always has been. Yep. Proven through the Bible. Proven in the New Testament. When Paul says the blood of uh, bulls and goats did nothing for the people in the Old Testament, your works were as filthy rags. Yep. You know I'm right, Gene. That's what makes you a heretic is because you know I'm right. And your students know that I'm right. So, hey, students, you're in a cult. You're in a cult. This is your cult leader, Jeannie Kim. He, like, pronounced a prayer or, like, the Lord's power, a curse upon his enemies. Very next day, the Lord judged him. Where uh, YouTube actually got rid of the video, and he even get, got kicked out of Patreon, of all things. How can you do that, right? It's really, really weird. So, Brian Denlinger is the one who got kicked off uh, Patreon, right, so he must be talking about Brian D Denlinger, who's also got a false gospel as well. Get saved, Brian Denlinger. Jesus saved, not your calling. But then, uh, that's why you can't do that when you pray for your enemies. The enemy, you, the greatest enemy you have to look at is yourself. Okay. That's important. Not them, you. So what does this pastor do? If he receives an opposition, I seriously do this. I seriously look at myself. I say, okay, Lord, is there something that I'm wrong at that I need to repent of? And you need to show me from the Word. So then that's what I do when I pray to the Lord. That way, why? Even if I'm right, I even can attack right. rightly. Even and if you're right. Where is the part where Gene's ever wrong? There isn't one. Gene takes the question and goes, well, Lord, am I right or are they right? Oh, okay, and starts his video. There is no part in here where Gene is wrong. That's the spell. Not with hatred, not with fleshly vengeance. Because what did Romans... He's already into the retribution. It's not, what if Gene's wrong, what is he going to do? He doesn't go into that. He uses some word trickery to go back and forth to immediately go, I talk to God and say, now I can go after these people. And there's never any consideration that he could be wrong, ever. I'm a Bible believer. Right out of the guy's own mouth. All this gibberish that he writes up on the screen, when it comes down at the end of the day is, if you attack Gene Kim... You're going to be cursed by God, or he'll be praying against you. 
and he'll sit there and go, hee, 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 hee. and he's watching. He's watching everybody's channels to, me, <laughs> to see to see if something bad happens. He needs to, to get saved, Max. Drink him well, needs say, to get look saved. Look at Romans chapter 12, how we should treat our enemies. It shouldn't be some a fleshly impulse Again, of vengeance. I'm not anger. your enemy. It's got to be like this way. Verse 19. I mean, I'm an enemy of, of the heresy you teach it, that there's works in Christianity. By definition, that makes you a cult, man. Yep. Sorry. How do you define a cult? Why don't you tell me how you define a cult? Because you do talk about cult somewhere in, the, in this video. Fundamental teaching of, of Christianity is salvation by faith, not of works, lest any man should boast. Oh, but that only applies in the New Testament. So God changes. It's a doctrine of exceptions. Doctrine of exceptions. Garbage. I rip you apart. I'm just a guy on YouTube, right? My income, and I don't have congregation and thousands of people sending me money for anything. I don't have any skin in the game, man. I have no reason to lie to anybody out there, especially your students. I'm showing them the spells. Showing them what kind of garbage you're teaching them. Nonsense. That makes no sense at all. And it just so happens to come out after video that I did about spellcraft in the government and politics and things like that. Guess what, guys? All of these wolves in sheep's clothing and false preachers, they're using spellcraft too. This guy is one of them. All right? When it comes to this particular doctrine, like I said, I don't watch the guy. But I assume it's a lot of prideful, puffed up stuff. He's got the trumpets blaring as his video starts. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, it's like he's going to come in with a little crown. No consideration that he could ever be wrong. Ever. Only Jesus is right. And his biggest enemies, according to him, are me and Ed, it turns out, later on in the video. Why is that? It's because you can't defeat us. We have the truth. We have logic. We don't preach nonsense. Right? Yeah. If there's a question we can't answer in the Bible, we'll go, I don't know. Honest. That's right, man. Honest. You're not being honest, Jeannie. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine. Well, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. That's what God says. So how we should treat our enemies is that we should treat them with goodness. So you know what I do? I, I mentioned this in my prayer. I mentioned concerning, uh, in my prayer on my enemies, Lord, shed your goodness on them. Really? Why? You want God to bless the wicked ones? No, the goodness based off of Romans 2. Romans 2 says when God blesses that wicked sinner more, then uh, if he doesn't repent, his wrath increases more. Romans chapter 2. What are you talking about, Gene Kim? What are you talking about? Not, don't show him goodness based on his ministry. I don't want the Lord to bless a heretical ministry. I want the Lord to bless his life where he, he can repent according to Romans chapter 2. Amen. So that's how I word it as. Look at Matthew 5. Look at Matthew this chapter 5. All Verse 44. This is all gobbledygook to basically say, I'm right and uh, the people who attack me are wrong and, and, they, and they get YouTube strikes because of it. I'm actually going to skip the part where he talks about that, but he like he wants to talk about YouTube strikes a lot, which I don't think he I don't think that was me he was talking about. But this is a guy in Silicon Valley, right, where he has very clickbaity, perfect titles for YouTube. So I'm sure he's familiar with these people that are in Silicon Valley that probably work with YouTube and work with these tech companies. Has everything perfect. That's why he's got two hundred thousand subscribers. Okay, which is fine. Good for him. But also, if he has a problem with some video out there, you don't think he's out there personally flagging it? And maybe he doesn't have some people that can flag a video to make sure people get it taken down? Do you think God is in charge of that, flagging videos? Really? No. The way YouTube works is if something is flagged, it's automatically flagged. 
if you're using copyrighted material, depending on what it is, or if it's a community guideline strike, you actually need to have a physical person report it. So what he's telling you in the next few minutes of this video is effectively that he's reporting people. And then I guess that's God's wrath. Again, Jeannie is always right. Everybody else is always wrong. And bad things happen to people who disagree with them. Never is there a consideration that Jeannie could be wrong. According to his own gobbledygook diagrams. And what is coming out of his mouth? It is a spellcrafter. Maybe I'll maybe I'll talk about it in a couple of minutes here with the So the greatest enemy is yourself. You have to humble yourself, see what you're wrong humble at. Yourself. And then you have to show goodness toward them. Verse 44, but I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that what curse good you. Has he done to me? Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. How about that? That's how we should treat the enemies. Okay. So This goes on to the whole thing of everybody from this Ruckman crowd thinks that they're getting persecuted when we say that you're wrong. Telling somebody they're wrong is not persecution. Telling somebody they're wrong is love. I mean, Max. But guys like Jeannie Kim don't understand that. Guys like Jeannie Kim say, well, I'm being blessed because I have all this money and I got my two doctorates and my students, therefore I must be right. And I know how to make clickbaity titles on YouTube. And the second that little bubble is tested a little bit by myself and Ed, oh, uh, uh, I think I said it before, you know, we go in and make an argument, Gene Kim will make an argument the sky is purple, and I'll say it's blue, and make a video proving that the sky is blue, and Gene Kim will make a rebut rebuttal looking at his shoes going the grass is green. Witchcraft. We're going to go up to, to 19 minutes in. Um, I am actually have a live stream to do later on a different channel. I can't spend all day on this. Right. Gene Kim, sorry. I know I must be your bitter enemy, but you're just honestly not that important to me. Your doctrine is garbage when it comes to dispensational salvation. Yep. It's a made-up phony doctrine by a racist, bitter old man named Peter Ruckman who has some good stuff. But guess what? When you bring works into salvation... You can't listen to anything the guy says. Yep. Because he believes in works for salvation. And you could say, oh, but that's just the Old Testament. It doesn't matter. You're fundamentally, fundamentally undermining all of Scripture with that doctrine. The great Peter Ruckman. The great heretic. 19 minutes in, let's go. Uh, at Saturday, see, church is important. I stress that so much. Lord, because of that, for your glory, where we can glorify you more, and see because for your name's sake, Lord, that he please do something with these enemies. And when I pray it, the Lord just answers. Love. See, he draws, they all draw pictures because it's a spell. Ruckman was really good at it, and he was actually an artist. Well, these guys can't draw, so they just draw little boxes and circle things and draw arrows. It's very common in Ponzi schemes. Right, where you go there and, hey, you need to buy a timeshare? You need to buy a timeshare? We'll draw the little pyramid and the circle thing and see. You sell your timeshare to someone else and they sell 10, 10 more people timeshares. And before you know it, you're a millionaire. Uh, okay, here, take my money. It's the same sort of thing. All right. I mean, this can also be used for good. Just saying, in this particular instance, the guy ain't using it for good. Like that. Be careful. Be careful when you attack this ministry because this is not my ministry. This is not Gene Kim. This is the work of the Lord. And that puts fear in my heart too because. The name of the video is Enemies of Gene Kim. Not Enemies of God. Not Enemies of Christianity. Enemies of Gene Kim. Man, I still make imperfections. I still make imperfections. No. But a man I come to in fear and trembling, that's what God wants. That way I can keep trying, at least keep trying to do and teach what's right.
I mean, one person, uh, there's, there's, this, there's some of these people who don't have such fear. So then one person attacked me about exceptions and dispensationalism, did a video, and then the guy didn't uh, do any video for months. So for months, and so many people were worried, like, I'm, were, did something bad happen to you and stuff like that? Uh, no, I took a break and took a vacation. Good max. The last several months have actually been the best in my life for, you know, the last several years. And it was very, very uh, low-key. No work had to be done. I got to sit and kind of play around and unwind and relax for several months. And I didn't have much to talk about because after I beat you down, and prove that you're an idiot and a heretic when it comes to the Bible, I didn't have much else to do. I don't really need to talk about whether or not Adam has a belly button and argue that on the internet. And, you know, when I was thinking about doing a video here and there, I have a terrible internet in my town, and it just so happened that for several months my internet was in and out and in and out. And I'm not going to waste my time putting videos together if I'm not going to be able to upload them. So it's just not, wasn't that big of a deal to me because I don't do this for a living. Okay, I can quit at any time. I, I gain nothing by uh, calling you a heretic and a cult leader. I gain nothing, okay? Nothing. Except the peace of mind that at least I see it, I am aware of it, and I can warn people out there that this teaching, this doctrine, is satanic, introducing works into the Bible, and you should refer to these people and look at them just like any other cult out there. Because they teach work salvation. Okay? Now, that's a pretty firm position. This is not the position that I held the first time I debunked you and completely destroyed your argument. Where you had to come out with the doctrine of exceptions. Which means, the Bible means nothing. When you say you have a doctrine of exceptions, you're saying... It doesn't matter what the Bible says. So if I want to go on break for a couple of months, or years, or forever, I can do that. Yep. My video is still out there. And it still has not been debunked by you or explained away. Oh, except for talking about how grass is green when the, the topic is the sky. And your students see it. And now, thanks to your coming out with this video, now they know you're casting spells on them. And now they know to look more closely at what you are saying. I was so worried. I wonder if the Lord's dealing with that person on something. And then his partner in crime, so to speak, was attacking, was trolling literally every Bible believer he can think of. Attacking Gene Kim, his doctrine, is a crime. Ladies and gentlemen. And then within less than a season after I prayed for that person, God struck that person with cancer. And coincidentally, that same year, he had a video title. Romans 10, 13 is a cancer. Same year. Watch out. This is... Romans 10 doesn't save. You are a false Christian, Gene Kim. Get saved. I had cancer before that. We have to take this work of the Lord, and this includes your pastor here. We have to take this work seriously. Let's pray. God, my Father, uh, this is your work and your ministry. And Father God, I'm not saying that I'm better than my enemies this, or any. Now we go into the spellcraft of the prayer. Okay? The spellcraft of the prayer. Of I'm just such a loving, smart individual with two doctorates and... and and I am just a great man and, and great man of God, and how they dare these people uh, come after me and people in this room. All I am is flesh, dust, and ashes. I don't know why you would keep using me. And thank you so much. Please keep filling me with the Spirit. Please keep using me for your mercy and grace, because your word promised that your grace is greater than all of our sins. And because this is no, your work, Lord, not mine. Your name is. No, it isn't. Not according to you, Gene Kim. No, God's grace is not good enough. You have to work for it. You have to work for it, you liar. And he's adding his calling to, to, to faith. He's a false Christian, Gene Kim. You are a false Christian. Get saved. Oh, your God. 
God's grace is wonderful, it saves everything. No, it doesn't according to you. No one wasn't saved by grace, right, Gene Kim? Right? He built a boat. See how nonsensical this stuff is? The only way that it carries on is witchcraft. That's it. So important. What a mighty testimony that in San Francisco Bay Area, Silicon Valley, that Bible-believing truth is taught, uncompromisingly attacking what is wrong, uh, wrong doctrine, wrong error, people who cause the church to broke down and water down in apostasy, but also trying to promote the right spirit. Love. So he's, he's, he's claiming that, you know, he is wonderful because he's doing what me and Ed are doing. Calling out heresy. One another and uh, tearing down pride, exalting humility where we exalt your name even more, where we shout and run around the room to glorify your name, and where we preach hard and we preach also positive things where we can repent and get right and most of all see souls saved. But more important than that, to glorify your name because your name is worthy. Please protect us, Lord, because uh, the enemies are out there. Please protect us, Father. For your work's sake, Heavenly Father, protect us. Continually handle them as you've always done. And Lord, I come before you in faith, trusting that whatever happens, whether the enemies attack us more severely, or whether your work continues to thrive, or whatever happens, I trust all in your hands, knowing that however way you deal with me is best. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Perfect. Perfect. Just like Brian Denlinger. Pull it out of the old playbook. We're being attacked harder now. Therefore, I must be more right. And I'm and I'm kicking a doctrine that you you really love. I'm I'm, I'm kicking over the the sin that you really love. And because I'm a hard preacher, you don't like that. I'm a hard preacher. He mentions that somewhere in this video. He said they're attacking me because I'm just a hard preacher on sin. They all say that. They all do. The thing is. is they're not going to realize in their in their thick skulls there that God uses regular old people. Yep. There's a point in this video where he talks about how um, essentially we're just little guys. We're nobodies. We're not even worth paying attention to. The experts we have, our Bible-believing experts are all around the world. He says specifically, not you little people, but the people who are running like 10 or 15 churches. Apparently you have to be a, a, a superstar expert in order to have any credibility with Gene Kim. Which why it makes, makes it so mad. So mad I gotta go get them guys. A couple of guys with a few thousand subscribers poke holes in his shiny little doctorate. Hey man. It's not that complicated. The Bible isn't complicated enough to, you need to um, get two or three PhDs and all this stuff in uh, how to twist scripture and all that. You, 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 it's not that complicated, especially when you're talking about a fundamental principle. You know, you know that thing called a, a, a fundamentalist? What does that mean? It means that we're all sinners and we're all damned to hell, and there's nothing we can do about it except have faith in God. That's and right. His grace. See, it's not the asking. It's not the asking. It's the faith. It's the faith in the Lord Jesus. It's the faith that He died for your sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day. And it's also faith in His blood. Scripture says so. So get saved, Dream Kim. Get saved. How does that work? Well, Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins and rose again the third day, defeating death. That's right. Defeating hell. And if you believe on that, his sacrifice is granted to you yep. to cover your sins. He paid for them. That's right. For your righteousness. Unless you want to talk about the Old Testament, well, those guys, they just work for it. No one can work for it. Or is that a spell that somebody wants you to believe? Hmm. Hmm. Jeannie, you need to repent. 
He need to repent. And he needs to to get saved. Trust in the true gospel, not Romans It'll be interesting 10. to see if you come back out and, and do another video or you just kind of let it be. You probably should just let it be. All right? I've said what I had to say. People can watch my video, um, several videos, this time that he's talking about here. My videos, when we were doing this, he made about a dozen of them, and we'd hammer them back every time. Eleven months ago, Gene says, I got you covered. He's got the Pope there, right? Um, this is one that I did. I, uh, I don't know which one is it. Yeah, here we go. There's some of the stuff up here is just mirrored because it's decent content. Um, Gene defends uh, Ruckman's dispensational dump dumpster fire. Gene Kim explains Old Testament saints were saved by the law they didn't keep. Okay? All of these videos are still relevant and right and correct and have not been proven wrong. So, I mean, unless you want to tell me somehow that uh, salvation is not by faith, which is what you preach, then uh, there you go. And everybody knows this who's not under a spell. Your students, obviously, some of them are a little bit awake too. That's why you feel the need to combat us. Like I said, you think it's Satan that's sending people out to correct you. Maybe it's God. Maybe. You might take that into consideration before you start weaving your spells. That's right, Max. And reporting people's YouTube videos who disagree with you and sit there and go, hey. And then a year later, make a video gloating about how people who attacked your ministry, according to you, have been defeated by God. Anyways, that's what I got. Have fun, y'all. Yep. Okay, that's the end of his uh, video. Okay. Thank you.